The Serum Network's Power BI connector makes simple call center reporting possible. Integrating your call data with a Power BI streaming data set allows for real-time reporting as well as weekly and even monthly reporting. Customize your Power BI reports to represent the metrics you want to see. Today I'm going to show you how to set up your Power BI streaming data set and configure your Serum Network's Power BI connector snap-in. After you have logged in to app.powerbi.com, click on the workspace where you want to create your streaming data set. And then click on the Create button in the upper right hand corner of the screen. Select Streaming Data Set from the drop down. We are going to choose the API option and then click Next. Now let's give the data set a name. I'm going to name it Avaya Breeze. Feel free to name it however you want. Next, we are going to create and name the values in our data set. I will be entering in the default values. The first value is calling user. And the type is text. The second value is called user. And the type is text. The third value is call termination cause. And the type is text. The fourth value is call length, and the type is number. The fifth value is call start, and the type is date time. The sixth value is call end, and the type is date time. The seventh value is date, and the type is date time. Then we need to make sure that we turn on historical data analysis. This will allow the data set to retain the data. Lastly, click the Create button. Now we have the push URL. Let's move over to the AviaBreeze Manager and configure the attributes for the snap-in. Expand Configurations, and then click on Attributes. Select the Service Globals tab. In the Service drop-down, find and select the Power BI Connector Service. Here you will see the default values of the data set. Go back to Power BI to copy the push URL. Click on the ellipses to the right of the streaming data set and select API Info. Select and copy the push URL and then navigate back to the AviaBreeze Manager. In the Power BI URL row, highlight the effective value and paste the push URL you just copied. Once you have copied and pasted the new URL, click on the Commit button. Your snap-in is now ready to go. Your Power BI data set will be updated whenever a call is ended. All that is left to do now is create a Power BI report that will represent the call data that is captured by the snap-in. Let me show you an example of what metrics you can track with your streaming data set. I have several graphs and tiles that are displaying the call metrics. I have the total count of calls per day, and the average length of calls per day. I have the total call length and number of calls by each agent. I have tiles that show the average call length for all calls, the average call length today, and the average calls per day. And I have tiles to track the total amount of calls by termination cause, abandoned, successful, and other. I have a list of users that I can then select to filter the data below the top two graphs. Serum Networks is a Pacific Northwest leader in the design, implementation, management, and support of integrated networked communication solutions. By partnering with industry-leading companies such as Avaya, Cisco, EMC, and Microsoft, we enable our clients to realize the competitive value of technology solutions that drive business results. For more detailed call reporting and contact center solutions, contact us at solutions at seriumnetworks.com.